Welcome back to Mystical Heart Tarot Readings. This is our reading for the my gamers. This is Gamer Week for the week of April 9th through April the 15th, 2021. So let's see what we get for my gamer friends. Let's see what we get. All right. So we have the hermit. The hermit says we have insight. We have insight. could be solitude so maybe there's a game you're playing that's solo or if you are playing with another person that other person could be under the sign of Virgo because the hermit represents Virgo Oh, and now we've got the Hierophant, which represents the sign of Taurus. So we might be getting back to either a traditional game, or you might be making plans in a game that you're already playing. This is getting back to tradition, and this is having insight into it. Oh, we got another big card coming out here. You have intuition about the game that you're playing, or games, if you play multiple games. This card doesn't represent any astro astrological sign, but it is a big card. There may be secrets. You may have to make a choice. There may be conflicts, and of course, a lot of games are about conflict. That's that's the whole idea behind the game. So that's not really a surprise if you're playing one of those types of games. But it could be there could be a conflict with a partner. If you're playing a game that has is a multiplayer game. And 
and this could be there could be a conflict within the game over something that's valuable to you I know some games have things that are of value within them so there could be a conflict and it could be a conflict with one of your partners somebody that if you're playing with a group working as a group within the game there could be an internal conflict with a partner otherwise the conflicts if it's a solo game the conflicts are normal if it's one of those types of games you need to use logic and reason in your thinking when you're playing the game use logic and reason think about it before you do something before you take an action before you react on something make sure you think about it make sure it's an action that you really want to take Here we have conflict. I see maybe energy draining. And it could be energy as part of the game. I get that part, you know. Or you could be playing too much and draining your own energy. But you're taking action and moving forward on something you hold value in, whether it's an object or something within the game itself. I would say that this week is going to be a good week for gaming, for the most part. Conflicts could be an issue if you play um, if you're not just a solo player if you're playing in a group of people there may be conflicts between within the group itself but if it's just a game where you're just a solo player then conflict is normal if it's that type of if it's that type of game and when I refer to that type of game, I'm referring to like Call of Duty or I don't know what other games are out there anymore. Call of Duty comes to mind. Usually you're a solo player in that game. Yeah, you go in with a team. And so in that case, you could get team killed, which would cause a conflict right here. That could cause a conflict. I'm just using Call of Duty as a reference because that's probably one of the that's probably one of the bigger online games that I've played myself in the past that I can I'm able to reference to in reading the cards for you. So if you play solo, if you're solo in the game, then the conflict is probably just normal your normal conflict that you would expect within a game I hope that helped it looks like it's gonna be like I said it I foresee a good week for my gamers so I will see you back here next week and so hit the thumbs up button hit the subscribe button Hit the notification bell. Share the videos out. Invite your friends if you're a gamer. And 
Have a great week. Enjoy that game. And I will talk to you soon.